Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're going to go take on King Tusk solo. I can't believe I beat this guy. Now this is footage from my live stream so there's not going to be any sound with this but I'm going to try to talk you through this because I found an interesting way to to beat this guy and kind of stay on top of things. So we're going to we're going to go through this man. This guy is a it's a little bit of a challenge. Now I'm running this on the 3080 5800X. Um, as you can see up there in the right corner, you're going to see the, the frame rate counter is a little bit, a little bit messed up. It, uh, well, well not messed up. I mean, this is, this is literally running at low settings too. That's, that's, that's the funny thing. So, um, <clears throat> all right, let's get up here to the pig. I would have used the, the original sound that was in there, but it was all crackly and popping and stuff like that. So it's just better if I just talk you through this. So. I tried this maneuver a few times. I mean, sometimes that kind of works, um, but this guy here, he's so big and massive that when he like does the little side bump belly or he, he like throws things at you or he'll like do this like 360 spin that goes once then twice. Um, he's got some, he's got some pretty vicious moves, but you can, you can get him just kind of stay away from his front. Um, and mostly, mostly just ta attack him. See, I was trying to do that, and then he just side belly bumps. So that's not really that great of a tactic, unless you're, uh, unless you're uh, Sukomo. Uh, Sukomo is um, <laughs> distracting him. Then you can, then you can use the the get up and jump down and get some some good hit points that way. But this first part of the fight right here, I was kind of a little standoffish just because of the fact that. Um, I wasn't really planning on beating him. I was just like showing, I just wanted to show people, you know, this game during the live stream and I was kind of just goofing off. And then right after I got him to fall down um, on this one and then get up and run to the next zone, that's when I started taking it a little bit more seriously. So you're going to notice that this, this part of the fight is going to be a little bit weird. But once I get to the, to the second and third, um, to the second and third part of this fight, that's when I started to, started to take it a lot a lot more serious now this game here has some some issues with camera um there's definitely some camera issues in this game but overall it is playable and um this here is the second time this is the second time overall that i that i fought this that i fought this pig this is the second time <clears throat> so i mean i was able to i was able to get through them on this on the second on this very second time that I ever fought him. So he's not that hard. It's just finding out his move set or when, when he's going to do like his certain moves. Once you learn the move sets, it's a lot easier. Uh, this right here, this area right here is a pretty big area. It's, it's kind of easy. It, it should be easy to fight him. If you take what I did in the second and third fight and just reproduce that in this fight, you'll, you'll have an easy time with this first section. But I was, you know, kind of in discovery mode during this this first section. When he does this move, roll in between his legs. Roll in between his legs. Get as close to him and roll out out the backside, and it will never hit you. It will never hit you. You'll you'll be fine. Uh, those rocks are usually easy to pretty easy to dodge. Um, there's a obviously a wind up. He sticks his face in the ground, so you can definitely see that one coming. Uh, the hardest one to really that right there, that spin thing that he does, that one there is kind of hard to to decide when he's gonna do that, especially when you're up close to him. It's really tough. So getting in close to him is the the best way to fight him. But you see, he'll do like that side belly bump. Uh, most of his most of his hits, you know, take a lot of power off of you too. Now, I got a couple. I got close to to kicking the bucket twice or a few times during this fight. But you just got to kind of be, you got to be kind of fast and, and move around a little bit. You want to be close to him because that's, that's the best way to, uh, to fight, to fight this guy. Um, make sure you grab these sukum, uh, sukumos, sukumos when you find them. I don't know how to say that. But uh, there is one thing about the, uh, the monsters in this game. They do get smarter. If you keep trying to use the same move they will eventually get smarter if you're like using the boxes and trying to jump up on them or like right here, you'll see this. Cause I got up on this roof and I kind of got him to come over here, but then I was hitting him and he can't, he couldn't really hit me up here. So he, um, 
he uh, just ran away from me. He ran over there and stood in the back until I came down. Like he's not going to just let you, uh, he's not going to let you cheese him that way because that would have been a pretty easy cheese. If you would have just kept getting up there on me, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty easy to fight him that way. This game is, this game is good, man. It, it like keeps you on your toes. It had my heart beating all fast, like a dark souls fight during this, because that's kind of, that's kind of what this reminds me of is more of a dark souls fight. Like I, I like, don't get me wrong. See like right here, roll in between his legs. Boom. He'll never freaking hit you. Once he goes up like that, it's, it's all you, you can, you, you've got more than enough time to start moving out of his way. Um, sometimes most of the time, if he, if he's getting ready to swing his tusks at you, you can roll in between like right into his face, like just roll right into him. And, uh, most of the time it won't hit you. But see, I got up here and I started like kind of cheesing him. Like he, it's, uh, it's kind of funny, you know, you just get behind here, he'll come do his little spin thing when he gets over here, then you can just go over there and get some free damage on him. Uh, if you can get him up here to this point, he'll he'll sit here for just a second. Not not very long. He he got smart pretty quick. He was like, I ain't taking no more of this damage from you, buddy. Bing. I mean, he could potentially hit you up here. So, I mean, you're not super safe, but like right here, like you've pretty much got like free reign of the dude. See, that's when he smartened up and he ran away from me. He's like, no, dude, you're not, I'm not going to just sit here and let you, let you freaking cheese me. So I sat here for a second and then I was like, all right, we'll get down and we'll fight him. <laughs> it's in the middle of a live stream. So I had to be, I had to be daring. I had to be daring. I'm surprised. I'm surprised, man, that I, that I got him because there was a few times during this fight that I was like, oh man, I thought he was going to get me. So I beat him without, without him knocking me out one time, which was, which is pretty cool, man. I didn't think that was going to happen, especially on my second fight with this guy. It was, it was kind of easy to, it was kind of easy to learn his move set pretty quickly, you know, see like he'll run at me. I was trying to, I was trying to kite him back over here so I could, so I could do it again. And uh, he was like, nope, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. And then he's going to run after, he's going to run after him. This was a good fight, man. This was a good fight. This is this is a good one. So when he's down on the ground, you can use your box thing and get some get some good damage on him that way. But I found a, another thing that works better. Um, I would upgrade to this sword to fight him because I think this one here is just the best. I don't think the I don't think any of the other ones are going to be good for this guy because he's he's just kind of a big old brute. So you want something with a lot of power and those moves, they hurt, man, when he gets you. But being under him was the best course of action to, to fight this guy. And that's pretty much the way I figured it out. But this is pretty cool, man. This is, <laughs> this game is, I can't wait for more of these fights, man. These are pretty interesting. Now there's always, there's only three times that you're going to have to chase him. You'll chase him one, two, three. Um, I think this time I got under his, under his face when he was going to do the thing. And then I was able to, to get past him. So I started taking this, I started taking this seriously after I got him down this time. I thought for sure I was going to be toast on, on this thing. Cause I was starting to run out of my, uh, my life really quick, but yeah, you just, just get between those legs. Try to get as much damage on them as you can. Now, I was surprised that one hit him because normally it doesn't. But see, this move right here, once I started using that, just getting under him, because I was just, because this here is the part right here where I was just like, oh, okay, I'm I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm getting pretty tired. I don't want to scream anymore tonight. So, boom, and then I got him. And then he fell over. He fell over, and I just kept walloping him. So this right here is the best. You can get under him under certain times and you can just do that move because that hits him pretty hard. And then that there takes off a lot of life and it does a lot of damage. So it's really, really good to use that. So I would recommend that with this, with this weapon. Now we're chasing him to a second, second part. This here's where it gets interesting because this second area is really, really tight space, a really, really tight space with a giant tree in the middle. I mean, you'll see when we get there in a second. I don't know if you're struggling with this fight or not, but 
once you get over here and you and you see what we we've, we've got to deal with now i've got the one good thing about this is these life things are sitting everywhere so by the time when you're when you're running from one place to the next usually you can feel feel your healing your healing things up again so i mean that's why i kind of feel like it's a little bit easier than than uh the monster hunter this is definitely a little bit easier so you can just slide under him and then you just start walloping him but you got to watch out for that belly bump good thing that belly bump doesn't really take a lot of a lot of health from you but it can potentially um it can potentially like make you dizzy and that there's how this guy will beat you see like he belly bumps right over that he gets smart when you start building those boxes He'll start he'll start belly bumping towards you instead of doing his other moves. I've found that just getting right under here under his back legs and and just getting as many hits with that as you can in between and then you know run away and like heal yourself. <clears throat> he will do this move too. And this right here, like it it will get you. But there you go. Roll right between them legs. Boom. That there knocks you out. That that move right there takes a lot of hit points. So you want to be able to do that. And the and the and the timing for this, for the most part, like it is, it is pretty good. Like you do have enough time to like get out of the way most of the time. Um, as long as you are fast and you and you and you keep moving, there's this little freaking swing. This guy is such a monster. So mean. Like I literally did not think I was gonna beat him this time. So use this tree in this second part to your advantage because this will this will shield you from a lot of his moves. Um, a lot of his moves that are that are that are like really, really harsh that will shield you from them. So you can use that tree to your advantage. Like right now, he's going to grow his big, mean red tusks. And these things right here, they're so huge. See what I'm talking about with like the camera issues? Like you'll have the camera things that will kind of screw you up a little bit. Uh, you want to be really fast with those and you want to get out of his way because those big old things are pretty massive. Uh, good thing they go away pretty soon. But like once he gets those out, that's when he's like really, really mad. And he starts getting mad. But if you just, like I said, just stay right in between him, you can still hit him. Just stay away from those and try to be like right underneath him or right behind him. All we really got to worry about is that belly bump, <clears throat> that belly jump wire under there. See, this is where I thought I was like, Oh no, I'm toast, man. He's all over me. I was, I couldn't see nothing. And I was like, Oh man, he stopped me right there. And I was starting to freak out. I was like, dude, he's going to, he's going to get me. So I just hurried up and healed. Got back under here. And then like this right here, like I said, yeah, use this tree because he's going to he's going to freak out and run at it. But if you're hiding behind the tree, then kind of has to si subvert himself a little bit, which isn't too bad. But but I love this move right here. This one right here was working really, really good at like knocking him down and getting him getting them wheeled down so that is a good move like i said that's the worst thing you got to worry about is the belly bump and the side shift thing man Whew. yeah so we're getting down on our on our life here he's coming to get us this guy this is such a fun fight though i can't believe i got him i was like oh my gosh man that's so cool get over here oh man <clears throat> see i don't even know what happened there i don't understand how he hit me that freaking hard but it made me dizzy and i thought okay well here we go <clears throat> let's just give it one more try let's just try one more time let's see what we can do my little bot was over here keeping him a little busy his red tusk disappeared he got a little bit light-hearted and then boom fell over that was a big mistake, big boy. You should have kept your balance. This move right here takes so much pain off of him. There was like a couple more whacks. <clears throat> right when you see his knee drop, that's when he was like, he's in his damaged mode and he's getting ready to walk away. Get a couple more shots on him. And then boom, that part. 
Whew, saved my butt. Look how much health I had left. <clears throat> and then you just run to his next spot. By the time you get there, you'll have enough health to fight the third part of the battle. And that was... This one's pretty. This this right. This next part, you got plenty of wide open space. It's it's a really, really clean, clean area to fight. You can really focus more on your move set and you know keeping him. And if you noticed, I haven't put my my lock on him one time. I have not locked on him one time just because it's so hard. Like that makes the camera even worse. It makes the camera, in my opinion, it made it worse. Um. So I just take that off. <clears throat> And by the time you get over there, you should have, you'll have, you'll have your full health again. Now, every time you beat these guys, you can like upgrade and get more moves and stuff, which is pretty cool. So I would recommend just like monster hunter. Um, I did, I farmed a little rat guy. That's why I'm wearing pretty much all rat clothes. So I farmed him and pretty much almost got the whole set, which kind of helps, you know, give you a little bit of, give you a little bit of strength or whatever. I was going to farm the uh the sap scourge but I don't know. I don't That one there got they got they got kind of easy. Once you learn their move sets on here, they are actually not too hard anymore. They're actually fairly fairly easy to to beat. You just manage your health and and your and your move set and stuff. So here we are, man. We are to the spot where we're going to make our final stand. This is so beautiful, man. <laughs> like you see this area and it's so nice. I went and explored this this map a little bit and I found this area before I even, you know, got to him. So that was pretty cool. Getting up here and fighting him. I can't wait for him to fix this game, man. Like I I, I just I'm waiting for him to like really give us that new patch that's going to like optimize, give us some DLSS support. Because I really want to play this game with with higher with higher uh, visual quality. I've actually got to set to the lowest quality so that I could, you know, play the game and make it more playable. It is pretty playable at 1440p even with everything maxed out, but it it would just it would pause and and it would and it would stop working. But as as you see him spin around, you see like all these flowers like moving and stuff. It's so cool, like that. The, the 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 interaction with the world environment and stuff is so cool on this game. There's just so much of it that it that there's it it's pretty cool, man. It's not like like we haven't seen stuff on this level before. Like you'd be fighting a rat in the in the little grassy field over by uh over <clears throat> when you first come down the little the little hill from the from the hut or whatever. You'll be fighting him over there and you'll see him jump up and then boom all of the all of the all of the grass moves and stuff it's just so cool or when you're fighting the sap scourge over in like this little uh this little grassy area that's pretty cool too Ooh, and look at that big old tail like he doesn't really do that move a lot that's probably like you you'll probably see that move a lot less you'd probably see the belly bounce and the um the uh the standing up on his hind legs and going down a lot more then you will see some of the other stuff. I don't even know why I tried pulling the box out in this fight. That's just pointless. Just get right behind him and whack. Whack him with your sword as many times as you can. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's going to come running at me now. I should have just stayed back there. Oh, actually, I did. I thought for sure I had done moved. Okay, now he's bringing out his big red tusks again. This part right here, like he'll do that big old tree thing if you're standing there, like that thing will like one shot you. <clears throat> but I was glad that I was able to get out of the way of that. Roll towards him, get right up under him. See how much time you got to like move between there and like get right behind him and stuff like this fight here just felt pretty, pretty hard because I wasn't, you know, that first time when I got to him, I just wasn't seeing what the heck was going on. So I was like, I was messing up and uh, he like got one of those things with the one shot on me. So I was like a little bit worried that this was going to be like a super duper hard fight. But like I said, this is the second time I fought him and I freaking took him out. No problem. 
Woof, that tail. That tail. Come here, big guy. Woof, dang. He's vicious with those things. A lot of these moves, they look a lot scarier than they really are. As long as you can figure out a way to get behind him, get under him, then you can uh then you can get him. See, I almost almost got taken out right there, but I was I was fortunate enough to slide, which is pretty cool. I was fortunate enough to be able to slide. <laughs> this part right here, dude. Mad. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I was just walk running, man, for some reason. Yep. Couldn't make it. Couldn't make it. I was trying to run out of the way. But we'll just use some of our unlimited health potions. Because there's more health potions everywhere over here. This was such a good fight. Oh, we're going back. Slide under him. I'm surprised I was able to slide under him. Boom. Get right under there. Boom. Get out of his way. Get back in there and hit that booty. One more. One more. One more. Bing. He's done. Done. Just like that. Just smacking him with that. Just smack him with that. <clears throat> Gotta get over here and find a blow. Well, there you go, man. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, man. I really appreciate it. There you go, man. King Tusk. King Tusk is done. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. On the next time I get one of these down, I will make another video.